Part A then of question 1, we need to find the gradient of AB, where A and B are these two points here. So let's put them down and find the gradient. And that's the first part of the problem. So without further ado, there's our X and Y. I've written the question here. So let's mark off the gradient A, which is minus 2, 3, which we can put here. And then B was 10 minus 1, which we, oh, I better put it a bit slightly more to the right because it was 10 minus 1, wasn't it? So that's B. That will do there. And then we need to connect these points up together, don't we? So from here through to here, just about made it there. So we need to find out the gradient. So underneath or on top, well, we can draw a triangle. So let's do that. So we can read off the gradient without making a mistake, hopefully. So what's the increase in y? It goes from 3 down to minus 1. So the distance going down is 4 units. So it goes down 4. And how far does it go across? Minus 2 to 10 is a total distance of 12, isn't it? We're facing in the forward direction. We know it's an, a negative slope. So here then, the gradient of AB. The increase in y is minus 4. It's a negative slope. So we've got a negative there. The increase in x is 12. So it's minus 1 third. There we go. It's part A.